today's video, we are doing an everyday fall look. This look is super simple and easy to do, and it's perfect for going to work or school. This look is natural and is easy to match with anything. Real quick, if you guys aren't already following me on social media, be sure to check out the links down below and give me a follow. And other than that, guys, if you want to see my everyday fall look, just keep watching this video. Okay, so step one is to obviously shower and exfoliate your skin. I've already showered, I exfoliated my skin, and I also blow dried and I straightened my hair already. Um, to straighten my hair, all I do is section it into pieces with two different hair bands and straighten piece by piece, slowly letting down more and more pieces. Um, so I straighten my hair. Um, some people do it differently, but I split it out into sections. It just makes it easier for me. And so we're moving on to the actual face. So I use this headband that I got from one of my Halloween costumes. I have about a thousand different ears, cat ears, unicorn ears, um, devil ears. So if you have any of those laying around, which I'm sure you do, um, they're great for holding your hair back while you're doing your makeup. And I got these cute little doggy ears. So my first step is going to be um, my moisturizer. So I use Celestial from Lush. Um, it is labeled as vegan, I believe. Mm. Yes, it is labeled as vegan right there. So I'm going to take a dab of that. Um, I, this moisturizer I bought a quite a while ago. I bought it back about two months ago and it still has plenty in it, if you guys can see. So it's lasting me quite a while. They said it's supposed to last about six months, which is great because I believe it was on the more expensive side. Um, obviously it being vegan was really important to me. So that's why the price really didn't make a difference to me, but the fact that it is lasting so long and was so expensive is definitely worth it. So yeah, again, that is from Lush. And then my next step is going to be my foundation. I use the Perfecting Liquid Foundation from Arbonne in the color Honey Beige. This is what it looks like. And I've already wet my little sponge. So I'm just going to put a couple dabs on there and I'm going to push it in. Now this color might still be a little light. This is my winter color. I have another color that I mix with this color um, for summer because obviously you, I tan in the summer. contouring palette. Um, this is what that looks like. And I'm going to be using the colors Meteor for my contour and I'm going to be using Moonstone for my blush. So this one is Meteor. That's what I'm using for my um, contour and then this one is Moonstone and that'll that's what I'll be using for my blush. So I'm gonna use this smaller brush that I have for my contour. 
And I'm gonna suck in my cheeks. And I'm gonna draw a line from around the top of my ear. And there should be like a shadow that you create. So it's right along there. I'm only going to like halfway. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend it out anyway. And then I'm going to take it all the way around my forehead. And I do this because when I put my makeup on and it goes to my forehead, it makes everything look so pale. So I'm adding color back to myself. And I'm also trying not to make my forehead look so pale either. Okay, and then onto the other side. A different brush <laughs> and um, it's just a, a, a different brush a clean brush that I always use for my blush um, honestly guys I don't know what specific brushes you're supposed to use for each I have like a whole makeup brush kit and I just kind of winged it <laughs> but I want to make myself a big smile and I'm gonna put blush along the big circle and I'm gonna go back into my contour. So I'm gonna bring it back. Cheek and back. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. gonna blend it all out so my goal isn't to make it obviously go away my goal is to just make the lines look a little less harsh you know I don't want it to look like I rubbed a chocolate bar on my forehead so obviously I'm trying to make the lines look a little less harsh still obviously I want there to be color because that was the whole point of putting it there I still want that shadow along my cheekbones I still want my blush there, obviously. And I'm brushing it back. I'm not trying to add more here. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna brush it back. And I can always add it back in if I get rid of it too much. Okay, so next I'm going to do my lipstick. Um, I use two, a mix of two um, for like my daily color. I use Arbonne's Magnolia as my bottom. That's Magnolia. And then I use Ofra's Charmed. As my top. And I just put a couple dabs. Cause the color does come out a little dark sometimes. And I just rub it in. So I'm going to take an eyelash curler and get up close and personal with my face. Wonderful. 
This is a new eyelash curler, so it does the job pretty quickly. I don't need to, to hold it too long. I'm just squeeze it too much. And then I'm gonna apply my mascara. So I use It's a Long Story Mascara, also by Arbonne. the color black your typical mascara and I love this mascara because it makes my eyelashes look so long all the products that I'm using are are vegan guys I don't know if I mentioned that but all of them are vegan so my moisturizer was from lush that was vegan my foundation was from Arbonne. Arbonne's a vegan company, so that was vegan. Um, their contour palette, obviously, again, uh, from Arbonne, so it was vegan. Uh, their lipstick, Ofra, again, was vegan. Um, and that makes a big difference to me. I, I definitely value being vegan. I also value being eco-friendly. It's a lot harder to find eco-friendly makeup, though. Um, Arbonne does have eco-friendly makeup wipes and they're apparently working on being more vegan so or more eco-friendly so I do appreciate that I appreciate that a lot and I believe they have a recycle program too I'm not a thousand percent sure on that but I believe they do okay guys my last step is to go back to my Arbonne contour palette and with the color Stardust, I'm going to do a little bit of highlight. So I'm going to take a little bit of the product. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to put it right here along my eyebrows as well. Um, again, if I put too much, I can always blend it out. But again, that's going to be right here. little sparkle and on my eyebrow just a little bit you also get real fancy with it and do like your nose upper lip I don't really do that for my daily look Okay guys, that is I believe all the steps. We did our foundation, we did our lipstick, mascara, contour, highlight, we are all set. Wonderful. And if my hair got stuck in a position, like if I had put my hair up and needed to um, re-straighten, I do have my straightener here. I just used a Con Air straightener, nothing fancy. I believe I got it from Walgreens when my other straightener um, died on me. So I just used a Con Air straightener and I am gonna straighten it a little bit. I'm just taking the whole section. I'm not redoing all the little sections. I just don't like when the section in front of my face starts to curl up on me. All that's left, guys, is to choose an outfit. So, I'm gonna choose an outfit. So I chose this ribbed knit long sleeve bodysuit sweater along with this orange corduroy skirt with some black booties and some black pantyhose to go with it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys love this look, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below for me. And other than that guys, I love you to the moon and back and I'll see you all next week for another video. Bye, guys.